Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Z and you're watching Top 10. And in this episode today, we are going to talk about 10 technologies to look forward to in the year 2020. We'll be talking about these technologies in terms of investing, implementing, and as well as getting yourself trained in order to crack one of the best jobs. As we all know, the world of IT remains unrest because it is always in the state of change. In other words, you can say it is updating itself. Any application or software designed and if it's not updated, the technology or that particular software becomes obsolete. So that's why it's, it's the race of survival even for applications or software. So as we discussed just now that any software which is not updated by that company becomes obsolete because they start losing the momentum in the market. So what it is for the IT professionals? It's the same thing for IT professionals. It is considered as a survival tactic to keep yourself updated whenever a new technology comes. So today we are going to talk about top 10 technologies which are going to impact, make or break. Before we proceed, I would like to request to please like, share and subscribe. For number 10, we have cognitive cloud computing. Cognitive cloud is an extended and because of this, we can deploy cognitive cloud computing applications and solutions to the masses of cloud. That means we can deploy all these applications and solutions in various number of organizations and in large numbers at the same time. We talk about this technology, cognitive cloud, com cloud computing. However, in today's uh, session, we are just going to say that cognitive cloud computing is one of the next big things in the world of information technology. Data is plentiful, streaming from everywhere in daily and business life generated by us, surrounding us, yet most of it remains unrefined and unused. Current attempts to refine the data and get value are failing at a startling rate. More than half of big data projects fail. Why? A lack of technology, skills, and methods to get insights and advice from the data. Companies are not able to securely source and use data from multiple zones to drive actionable insights. 80% of big data is opaque and not machine readable, what is known as dark data. What if we could access, refine, and make meaning of all that data and learn from it continuously? Enter Cognitive Scale, dedicated to making meaning from complex data and weave contextual insights and learning into the fabric of your business and daily life. We accelerate value from big data through the Cognitive Cloud Fabric, a next-generation intelligent cloud platform that can learn continuously from data and user interaction, deliver insights, solve problems, and improve over time. The cognitive cloud makes sense of an increasingly interconnected and amazingly complex world. The result? Imagine a business that can derive meaning from sourcing all available data, generating all possible actions and insights while learning continuously. We call this a cognitive business. Cognitive Scale has curated domain-optimized Cognitive Cloud suites that can transform your business. The Cognitive Cloud adds a new collaborative dimension to human reasoning and decision-making. How? By sourcing all available data across different sources and security zones. By processing multi-structured documents, images, video, text, device, and dark data. By generating contextual and personalized insights to multiple devices, browsers, and business intelligence systems and by learning continuously from all possible data and with every user interaction. Customers across industries are taking advantage of our technology to drive informed decisions, enhance user experience, and deliver better business outcomes. Become a cognitive business and drive exponential well, outcomes. Number nine, we have 5G technology, that is fifth generation of cellular networks. Before this, we had 4G, 4G, LTE, 4G, VoLT, and before that, we had 3G, and so on. But today, we are going to talk about 5G, and this is one technology to learn in the year 2020. So, let me just tell you a little bit about 5G. 5G is very unique, and it's very high-speed internet. Now, everybody is talking about this technology, 5G. Not even companies, but also countries, and the country's heads. Everyone wants to be in first in this race. So what is it so special about 5G? 5G 
at a minimum level is capable enough of giving you a download speed which is downlink of 20 gbps and up upload speed which is uplink of 10 gbps so, with these so, numbers with just this speed 5g becomes one of the fastest internet we have ever received and it is with these numbers we can say that 5g is 40 times speeder and faster than 4g lte going forward i would like to let you know the companies who are engaged in the equipment and testing of 5g the companies such as nokia samsung deloitte intel uh, ericsson as well as uh, Qualcomm are the major partners in the equipment market as well as testing market of 5G. And out of these, I have worked for companies like Samsung, Nokia, and Deloitte. And especially with Nokia, I have done projects on 5G. And I have received the uplink and downlink of more than 20 and 10 respective my testings. So I was the design and optimization engineer working for 5G for Nokia. And uh, the 5G chipsets are designed by Qualcomm. Mobile communications have become part of our lives and their development has dramatically changed the way we communicate. Looking back to the 1980s, we had mobile phones that were more like pricks. You could make phone calls and that's it. 10 years later, we had 2G, the second generation of mobile communication. This digital system allowed users to transmit data like text messages. The third generation gave us a world of smartphones with multimedia functions like internet access and FaceTime. The fourth generation delivered data eight times faster than the third generation. We could finally stream movies and music without much buffering and lag. But that's not where our story finishes. In just five years time, we will have 5G. 5G will connect virtually everything together from driverless cars to your fridge. And it will do it at incredible speeds, up to 200 times faster than 4G. It currently takes around six minutes to download a complete film. With 5G, it will take under a second. 5G is the key that will unlock a world of new possibilities and start a new technological revolution. This isn't just faster internet, it's the fifth generation of mobile communication. On number eight, we have big data. So what is this word big data? This word has been in the world of information technology for quite a few years. And that's why it makes me say that most of the people who are a part of information technology and who are not, maybe the investors, are familiar with this word. This is a very famous word just because of few reasons. Uh, Common reason why big data is famous is because it has changed the way we store the data it has removed the traditional way of storing and retrieving the data with technologies such as data analytics automation augmented analytics and data as a service i can say big data has made itself a very big name in the world of information the time of spreadsheets is over a google search a passport scan a barcode reading in a supermarket your online shopping history an ekg reading cctv footage a photo of a sandwich a voice message a tweet all of these contain data that can be collected analyzed and monetized supercomputers and algorithms allow us to make sense of increasingly larger amounts of information in real time in less than 10 years cpus are expected to reach the processing power of the human brain a survey done by the Global Agenda Council on the future of software in society shows that people expect artificial intelligence machines to be part of a company's board of directors by 2016. There is a good chance that in 15 years your job is going to be performed by computers, since decisions once based on experience and intuition will be made through machine analysis of massive amounts of data. Think about a vehicle that is able to read its environment and react accordingly much like a human driver, but also analyzing other sources of information that will make the trip safer, faster, and more efficient. Analyzing vast amounts of medical data from different locations and demographics will allow to determine which conditions improve the effectiveness of certain treatments and which don't. Big data analysis will reveal patterns and connections that will vastly improve most human activities. But it will also create very detailed profiles for all of us, including information that we'd rather keep private. Will big data make privacy obsolete? Or will it bring transparency, accountability and... Up next we have something special. We have dark. 
it's not D-A-R-K, we are talking about D-A-R-Q. So this particular technology is familiar to investors and big companies. Not so many people, even in the IT world, are aware of this technology. What is this? What is DARK? We are going to get to the acronym. We are going to talk about what D stands for, A stands for, R stands for, and Q stands for. But before that, let me just tell you, it is a combination of, it's a future future technology, which is a combination of other big technology. Catalyst for change in the post-digital world. What does D stands for? D means distributed ledger. So this particular technology got famous very first time for its introduction of blockchain technology and bitcoins. I know what you're trying to think. We are talking about the big bucks, big money. R stands for extended reality, which is a mix of augmented reality and virtual reality. We'll talk more about this in our future video. We talked about D A R. Up next, we have Q. So Q stands for quantum computing. What is quantum computing? We have talked about desktop computing, laptop computing, digital computing, smartphone computing, and various other types of computing. But what is quantum computing? Simple words, let me as explain you that we are trying to create information technological resources. In other words, a computer on the principles of quantum theory. So it's a mix of information technology and the world of physics combined. The very first time I came to knew about this technology, quantum computing, is when it goes back to India, when I was living in India and I was applying for universities in US and that was for PhD purpose. And uh, my major was quantum computing. Nobody literally knew about this particular technology. Even today, a lot of people don't know. So I'm talking about 2016. Anyways, moving Anyways. forward. Let me just tell you, Google has recently achieved or attained the quantum supremacy. So this is a major breakthrough. We have companies investing in quantum computing like IBM and many other, but Google was nowhere in the market in 2016. But today, this is a very major breakthrough by Google. So the leader in quantum computing, because they have used 53 qubit processors and they have performed a random circuit program a million times in just 200 seconds. It has been termed as a quantum supremacy. This is a very difficult operation. This is very complicated and a large operation. They have performed a million times in just 200 seconds. In other words, if we are performing the same task with a normal computer, it will at least take 10,000 years for the computers of today to perform this test. That's why quantum computers are not just fast, they are super fast. Dark Power Understanding the DNA of Dark Imagine a movie audience fully immersed in the on-screen action through virtual reality. Human-like artificial intelligence characters will respond, anticipate, react to each of the audience's choices. Meanwhile, distributed ledger technology will make payment and access seamless. This may seem far off, but companies are already setting their sights beyond their current digital transformation. Future-minded leaders know that mastering the next set of technologies will give them every advantage. Distributed ledger technology Artificial intelligence, extended reality, quantum computing. New technologies can spark a step change. Is your business ready for what's next? What happened to the lights? Is there anything wrong with it? Oh, okay. I thought we are already in the dark age, not D-A-R-K, D-A-R-Q, because that's the future. So this is for today in our episode of top 10 technologies to look forward in the year 2020 and 2021. So if you like the content, as I told you, please like, share and subscribe. And we are going to design the part two of this video very soon. Keep watching.